Check out FlipSideGaming.com for all your gaming needs. Use the promo code HEROES to save 10% on all orders over $10. From February 4th through the 29th, if you use this promo code, you will automatically be entered into a drawing to win a box of Magic the Gathering Unsanctioned. Also, there is another way to enter where no purchase is necessary. See the link in the description below for full details. Hey there, this is John from Heroes and Legends, and it's that time of the week again to go back and look at the results from the big tournaments of the weekend. And today we have a lot to talk about. Players Tour Americas was going on, Grand Prix Phoenix, also some big events at Star City Games Philadelphia. And these events encompass not only Standard, but also Pioneer and Modern too. Quickly though, before we get into it, just a fast reminder, if you go to FlipSideGaming.com, you can use that Heroes promo code to save 10% on orders over $10. And right now, you can order unsanctioned box sets, so they do have those up on their website currently. So if you're interested, check it out. You might be able to save a little cash. And whenever you use that promo code, it supports the channel, which is always appreciated. So thank you. And without any further ado, let's get into it. We're going to start off today by looking at Pioneer. First off is the Players Tour Americas event. Now, here's the top eight for that event. However, remember that it's not just Pioneer that the players played. They also played some rounds of Theros Beyond Death Draft. So some of these decks could have been propped up a little bit if the player did very well in draft. But for the most part, you're not going to see a lot of surprises here. A lot of the same decks that did well last week. But this particular event did have a fair amount of diversity in the top eight. Let's take a look at what's going on here. First place and seventh place, Demir Inverter. Second place and fifth place is Lotus Breach. Third place, Salti Delirium. Fourth place, Mono Red Aggro. Sixth place is Azorius Control. And eighth place, Bant Spirits. Now let's go ahead and look at some of these deck lists that are using newer cards from Theros Beyond Death. Now some of the deck lists, like Banned Spirits, they just haven't evolved very much. They're not using any of the new cards for the most part. So we won't look at deck lists like that today. But let's start off with Demir Inverter in first place. This deck really broke out last week during the Players Tour events. And it's actually pretty cool because it's not very typical that you see a deck just come out out of nowhere in one weekend and perform as well as this one did. In this tournament, we saw a couple copies in the top eight. We're going to look at some other tournaments, though, that did have more than a couple copies in the top eight. So this is still a very strong deck. You can see the deck list here really hasn't changed much from last weekend. Let's go ahead, though, and zoom in on the cards from Theros Beyond Death. You have Thassa's Oracle here and Omen of the Sea. Some main decks are using Thassa's Intervention as well. This one happened to not be running the card, though. Other variations of this deck are running these cards in the sideboard. Ashiok, Nightmare, Muse. Thassa's Oracle, sometimes one of the copies will be in the side, and Agonizing Remorse. Second place was Lotus Breach, and this is kind of a cool deck. It did very well last weekend, doing well again this weekend. The deck list, again, hasn't changed all that much from week to week, but I like the fact that basically we took a deck from Modern, the Lotus Storm deck, which was doing well for a while, and the deck was able to evolve with Underworld Breach coming from the new set, and that is the lone card you're going to see in the main deck of this particular build, three copies of it. And you're also going to find one copy, though, on the sideboard to round out your play set. And some variations of this deck are running at least a copy of Thassa's Oracle in the main. Salti Delirium came in third place. This deck also performed extremely well this weekend. We're going to see more of it in a couple other events in just a moment. This is another example of a deck that's starting to feel pretty solidified. I do feel like now that we've had some really big Pioneer events over the last couple weekends, the format is starting to really come together. Let's see what cards from Theros Beyond Death are included here. Four copies of Euro Titan of Nature's Wrath in the main. Here's your sixth place, Azorius Control deck. And you can see there's a lot of Planeswalkers here, a lot of control spells as well. Three copies of Big Teferi, three copies of Little Teferi, one Narset in the main, one in the sideboard, one Elspeth Sun's Nemesis in the main, and one in the sideboard. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at the rest of the cards, though, that you'll find from Theros Beyond Death here. We mentioned Elspeth. You're also going to find Soul Guide Lantern in the main here. In the sideboard, again, we did mention Elspeth, but also Dream Trawlers there and another copy of Soul Guide Lantern. This deck wasn't doing it, but some copies will also run Thassa's Intervention in the main as well. Okay, let's move on to the next event. This is Grand Prix Phoenix, and this again was a Pioneer event. So you can see here the top eight not quite as diverse as the previous tournament. First place, Mono Red Aggro. Second place, fourth place, fifth place, sixth place, and eighth place, Demir Inverter. Third place was Banned Spirits, and that came in seventh as well. So we won't look at any deck lists from this one. We already looked at Demir Inverter. The Mono Red Aggro deck that was here was not running any new cards, but we are going to look at a different one later that was. And Banned Spirits decks across the board just don't seem to be really changing that much. Okay, on to the Star City Games team open now. So this type of event actually consists of three different formats. 
you have one player on the team playing a Pioneer deck. You have one player playing a Standard deck and one playing a Modern deck. So this is what you're seeing on the screen now is your top eight teams and what they were playing for Pioneer. Now, when it comes to this type of event, you got to remember that maybe you could have a weaker deck that gets propped up by decks that are performing well in the other formats. That's possible. But let's take a closer look at what we got here for Pioneer. First place team was running Salt Eye Delirium. The second place, fourth place, and eighth place team were all running Banned Spirits. Third place, Mono Black Aggro. Fifth place, Mono Red Aggro. Sixth place, Azorius Control. And seventh place, Demir Inverter. Overall, again, at least you're seeing a little more diversity in this particular tournament. There are a couple deck lists I do want to take a closer look at, so let's go ahead and check those out. The third place team running a mono black aggro deck. Again, very similar to what we saw last week, but the deck continues to perform very well. I saw more of these performing well this week compared to the mono black vampires. There are still some of those that can put up good results, but when you look at the top finishes, you're not seeing as many of them, at least this week. In the main deck, you do have Drag to the Underworld from Theros Beyond Death, and in the sideboard, Agonizing Remorse and Shadow Spear. Fifth place is Mono Red Aggro. One thing to point out here, if you look at the sideboard, there's only 14 cards listed, so Star City Games must have missed a card when they inputted this. Not sure 100% which one it is. It could be an additional copy of some of the cards there, or it could be a one of something else. So the reason I wanted to show you this particular Mono Red deck that the fifth place team was running was because this is a deck that is actually running a card from Theros Beyond Death. The other Mono Red Aggro decks that were in top eights this weekend weren't running anything new. For the most part, though, the rest of the deck lists are pretty consistent, other than the Phoenix of Ash, which we'll look at in just a second, two copies in the main. But also, sometimes you'll see Eldrazi Obligator in these decks, sometimes you won't. Just kind of depends on the direction they go in. But for the most part, they are feeling relatively consistent. And there's that Phoenix of Ash I just mentioned in the main. Okay, before we move on with the Star City Games team open, I did want to show you one more Pioneer tournament. This is the Star City Games Classic. It is a smaller tournament, but the players here are only playing Pioneer. First place, you had Salt Eye Delirium again. Second place was Mono Black Aggro. Third place was Banned Spirits. Fourth place, Demir Inverter. That also came in sixth place. Fifth place, Five Color Nim Mizzet. Seventh place, Lotus Breach. And eighth place was Jeskai Fires. Again, you have a tournament with a fair amount of diversity, which is nice to see. We haven't looked at a Five Color Nim Mizzet deck yet, so let's look at this one that came in fifth place. And as you can see here, four copies of Nim Mizzet Reborn. You're going to get four copies of Bring to Light, two of the key cards in this deck, four little Teferis in the main there. Now, this has been one of the big decks of the format coming into the weekend, but as you can see, it didn't put up the results that it has put up in the past. We'll have to see if it can rebound next week. When it comes to Theros Beyond Death, there are two copies of Euro Titan of Nature's Wrath in the main. Okay, let's move on to Standard. So first, we're going to look at the Star City Games team open. This is what those top eight teams are running for the Standard decks. First place, second place, and fourth place teams are running Azorius Control. Third place, as well as eighth place, Mono Red Aggro. Team of Reclamation came in fifth place, sixth place, and seventh place to round out your top eight. Not too much diversity here, but the Classic did have a little more, and we'll look at that in just a second. Let's check out some of these deck lists, though. The team in first place was running Azorius Control. This deck looked amazing last week, looks amazing again this week. I think this is going to be one of the big decks of the meta this time around. And as you can see here, again, the deck list is very, very similar to what we saw last week. And there are six cards in the main from the new set. Those are Dream Trawler, fantastic win condition creature here for a control build. Shatter the Sky, the Birth of Miletus, that card is really overperformed. Fantastic in these type of builds. Elspeth Conquers Death, Omen of the Sea, and Temple of Enlightenment. In the sideboard, you have Archon of Sun's Grace and Whirlwind Denial. Some main decks are running Thassa's Intervention, and some sideboards are running Heliod's Intervention. The third place team was running Mono Red Aggro, and I mentioned this last week. This is a little bit different from those Mono Red Aggro decks we saw last season that were running Cavalcade of Calamity. There are some similarities, though. You can see Fervent Champions here, Scorch Spitter, Tin Street Dodger, Light Up the Stage, Shock. However, Steamkins are back. Runaway Steamkin, four copies of that in the main. Three copies of Robber of the Rich there in the main two. Four copies of Ember Cleave. That's a huge card here. Let's go ahead and take a look at the cards from Theros Beyond Death, though. You have Annex, Hardened in the Forge, and Phoenix of Ash in the main. In the sideboard, you have two more copies of Phoenix of Ash. And some sideboards run the Acro in War, too. Let's look at the fifth place team's Teamer Reclamation build. This is a deck that was actually around last season, too, and hasn't changed all that much, but it does bring some cards from Theros Beyond Death that has enhanced it. Some of the similarities from last season, though, our Expansion Explosion, four copies of that in the main. 
four copies of Wilderness Reclamation, of course. Brazen Borrowers, four copies of those in the main in this build. You're going to have your four growth spirals. But what's new? Quite a few cards, actually. Euro Titan of Nature's Wrath, Storm's Wrath is here, Thassa's Intervention, Omen of the Sea, and Temple of Abandon, all in the main. Okay, again, we'll take a detour before we look at the modern cards in the Star City Games team open, and we'll look at that Star City Games Standard Classic, again, a smaller event, but these players were only running standard decks. First place was Bant Midrange. Second place, Teamer Adventures. Third place, Bant Ramp. Fourth place, Jeskai Fires. Fifth place and seventh place, Azorius Control. Sixth place and eighth place, Teamer Reclamation. So your five through eight spot was taken up by some of the big decks from the previous tournament, but the first four decks were not in the top eight of the last tournament. Let's take a look at those. Bant Midrange came in first place, and there's the deck list that does have some similarities to the Bant Ramp deck we'll look at in just a few moments. But this is different. It is doing its own thing here. When it comes to Planeswalkers, you're going to find two copies of Tamiyo, Collector of Tales, in the main. Three copies of Nissa, Who Shakes the World, four of Teferi Time Raveler. Let's see what the new set brings us, though. Quite a few, actually. Euro Titan of Nature's Wrath, Shatter the Sky, Thassa's Intervention, The Birth of Miletus, Elspeth Conquers Death, Temple of Enlightenment, and Temple of Plenty. In the sideboard, you find Mystic Repeal. Second place is Teamer Adventures. Various Adventures decks did very well last season. So when you look at these cards, they're going to look very familiar because basically, if you want to play the Adventures mechanic, you're kind of stuck to playing a lot of Throne of Eldraine cards. That's the only set that has the mechanic. However, there are some new cards that are pushing this a little bit. These all happen to be in the sideboard, though. Storm's Wrath, Mystic Repeal, and Shadow Spear. In third place, we have the Bant Ramp deck. And like I said, some similarities to the Bant Midrange deck we saw earlier. The Bant Midrange, though, has more control elements to it where this feels like, obviously, you're just trying to ramp out as quickly as possible. You have four copies of Cavalier of Thorns, one End Race Forerunner, three copies of Hydroid Crisis. Those are great payoffs, of course, if you can get big mana. Two copies of Finale of Devastation in the main as well. Theros Beyond Death brings us Euro Titan of Nature's Wrath again, Wolf Willow Haven, and Temple of Plenty. The sideboard has Elspeth Conquers Death. Fourth place was Jeskai Fires, a deck that did very well last season, and the principles here are still the same. Four copies of Fires of Invention, you have Kenner Three Turn King, something you can do with your mana. Brazen Borrowers, Cavalier of Flame, Bone Crusher Giant are all here. Four copies of Little Teferi. The main deck is using a Theros Beyond Death card, though, Omen of the Sea. And in the sideboard, you'll find Elspeth Conquers Death. Okay, let's close out that Star City Games team open. This is the modern portion. This is what your top eight teams are playing in that format. First place, Demir Wurza. Second place, Azorius Control. Third place, fourth place. 5th place, 6th place, Amulet Titan. 7th place, Heliod Company. 8th place, Golgar Yogmoth. Amulet Titan is still a very good deck. It was very good during the Oko time. Still extremely powerful, as you can see here. Let's look at some of the deck lists that are using cards from Theros Beyond Death. Amulet Titan was one of them. Here's the one the 3rd place team was running. And there's not a lot of changes to the deck, as you can imagine. Modern decks aren't going to change too much overall. However, 4 copies of a card from Theros Beyond Death in the main. And that's Dryad of the Elysian Grove. Pretty consistently now four ofs in all these builds. Heliod Company. This is what the seventh place team was running. And this is kind of cool because it's a company deck, but of course they add Heliod, four copies of Heliod Sun Crown, which we'll look at in just a second. And remember, that card does combo very well with Walking Ballista if you can get them both on the battlefield. Being a company deck, you're going to have four copies of Collected Company here as well. And yeah, okay, I kind of spoiled it already, but four copies of Heliod Sun Crown in the main. Okay, let's move on to the Star City Games Modern Classic. Again, just a modern event, but it is a little smaller. What's going on here? First place, Mono Red Prowess. That also came in third place. Second place, Ad Nauseam. Fourth place, Mardu Pyromancer. Fifth place, Heliod Company. Sixth place, Demir Wurza. Seventh place, Mono Green Tron. Eighth place, Azoria Stoneblade. A lot more diversity in this tournament, which is good to see. One deck that is running a card from Theros Beyond Death that we haven't talked about yet is Ad Nauseam. This one came in second place, and as you can see here, yep, it's an Ad Nauseam deck, but there are four copies of a card in the main, and that card is Thassa's Oracle. Okay, that wraps up our tournament results from the weekend. Hopefully this gives you a good idea of what cards from Theros Beyond Death are continuing to perform well. These are the cards that will be sought after in the coming weeks as people are building their decks and trying to pick up these new cards. Until next time, though, hey, thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe, and have a great day. Hey, thanks for watching. This video is made possible through the generous support of viewers like you on Patreon. 
Check out the description below for links to our Patreon page as well as our Amazon affiliate store where a small percentage of all sales will also help support the channel. Finally, if you haven't had a chance yet to subscribe, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the new videos on Heroes and Legends. Talk to you again soon and have a great day.